What does it take for a trade you get into to move into profitable territory? What does it take for a trade to be profitable? Well, it takes movement after your entry in the direction that you wanted it to go. So if you're long, it requires price moving higher. Okay, thanks for insulting my intelligence today, Merritt. What, 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 t teach me something real. Um, what it actually requires are aggressive participation from the other side of the tape. Um, it requires, I think people forget that it requires movement after entry. You have to get in and other people have to either decide to get in or in what we're going to talk about today, people that are wrong decide to get out. Okay, So one of the things I want to encourage you to think about is essentially the psychology behind a chart. Okay, Not just looking at price action itself, but going further and thinking about who's trapped, who's positioned from where, where are they wrong, and how can you take advantage of that. I heard a really, really good trader the other day say, if you can't identify where other traders are wrong, then you actually don't have a trade. It's not a trade if you can't identify where other traders are wrong. Okay? So let's say that price is drifting up into an area and you're looking to get short. Well, one thing that could help you get into a better short would be, let's say we have a double top. A lot of people just like to short the double top, and a lot of people lose money shorting double tops. I can promise you that. See a double top, then wait for price to go through the double top. What's going to happen in terms of participants okay, of the market at that point in time when price goes above a double top? A couple things are going to happen. One, people that were already short are going to stop out of those shorts. Okay, so people that were previously short and that were, if you're short, the only thing that's left to do is be a buyer. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and buy up there and get out of the way. So that's less potential buyers in the way of downside movement. The second thing that's going to happen is there's breakout traders getting long above this consolidation, above this double top high. Those traders that are getting long, what are they now? Are they buyers or sellers? They're long, therefore, they're now sellers. Okay? So we've cleared out buyers and we've brought in more sellers. Okay? And let, let me clarify for those of you that may not understand that exactly. Someone that gets long, they're a seller now because one of two things are going to happen. They're going to sell to exit for a profit, or they're going to stop out and sell to exit for a loss. They have to sell. Okay? So we have a double top. We have a spike above it that now fails. Now you can get in. Now there are other shorts that were previously short that have already cleared out the, the buying that they could possibly do. Now they might even pile in and reshort okay? order flow and it's more selling after you enter your position. Remember, that's what's required to profit. Uh, the other thing is we now have trapped longs from above that area. And what are they going to provide? More selling pressure as they exit, sell to exit their longs. That's the kind of thinking that I want you to understand. That's the kind of thinking that can help you make better trade decisions uh, throughout your session. Hope that helps.